from our studio in Atlantic City. And tonight, from our archives and from the Sands Hotel and Casino, I'm David Spatz. And coming up next, he was laughable, he was lovable, and he loved poking fun at himself. The late John Pinette joins us on tonight's edition of Curtain Call. And it all starts right now. You know, ever since we began this show, we promised that you would meet the biggest stars in show business, and today is certainly no exception. We're at the food court at the Sands Hotel and Casino, and um, one of the biggest comedy stars that you will ever, ever meet in your life is John Pinette. Have you seen John Pinette? Oh, there he Hi, David. How are you? Fine. One second. Yeah. A chili cheese dog. Hold on. It's good to see you, by the way. Good Have to you see you. Right? I've been terrific. Yeah. I That's a chili cheese dog. No onions or anything on that. Right. And um, a large Pepsi. Coke, right? Coke is good. All right. I never mind. No, no, no. Coke, Pepsi. Do you have a John, it, it, it's so good seeing you. See, no, Can go I ahead. get you anything? I'll have a Diet Coke. Just, just, a, just a Diet Coke. No, just small. You got uh, a small. Look at you. You're wasting away. Let me get you some. <laughs> no, I want to. We'll get well, you cheese fry. No, no, no. One cheese fry. All right, John. All right, John while, while we're here, while, while they're we'll preparing. Wait, that won't take long, will it? Back. While they're preparing your, your, your meal right. here. Move back. The camera has 10 pounds. <laughs> um, I can't help but, but take notice of the fact that you are a large person. I am a large mammal. Yes, I am. A large mammal. Yes. And if you feed a large mammal. It's, it's the road. When, you know, anytime I'm at home, it's Jenny Craig. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I so, eat a so, lot of those dinners, but, you know, <laughs> still, they're just Jenny Craig. You came to comedy in a rather unconventional way. Uh, like Bob Newhart, you were an accountant first, right? I was an accountant, but, uh, you know, the lunch hours were very short. And it just, there were no buffets at work. Look at what I got here. I mean, I got a food court. I got a court of food. A court. Yes. And, that's, and that's enough for you? You don't have to worry about going back to the books. We got a buffet downstairs. Well, I'm not welcomed anymore. But I was the first part of the week. Now, how did you get into comedy from, I mean, look, accountants are, are let, I, I don't mean to demean the, the accounting profession. All right. All right. You said it. You yeah, said well, it. Well, I found that out. I found that out after about three months. And I was at the job for about six months. And for the last three months of the job, instead of doing my bank reconciliations and everything else, I wrote jokes. But you didn't perform them, though, did you? I didn't perform, well, to the, to the different accountants who were bored, so they were happy to have me. Well, that's a good break-in audience. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. But I gave my two weeks' notice, and I ran out the door because I hadn't done any work. So, so, so you went up on stage, what, open mic night? How'd you do it? I went up on stage, open mic night, and uh, I invited all my friends from work. And uh, Wait, You invited a bunch of accountants to an open mic night? Absolutely. Well, I got them all drunk. Oh, all right. That well, helps. I would imagine so. Loosen them up a little bit. Exactly. You have to. You have to. But uh, all right. and that, and that was what about about uh, six years ago? Seven years ago. Yeah. All right. And now you're out on the road. Now you're out with Howie Mandel. But in the past six months, you've worked with Frank Sinatra opening yes. and Steve Lawrence and Edie Gourmet. That's a, that's a pretty like weird mix there, isn't it? Howie Mandel audience to a Frank Sinatra crowd. It's it takes a little working with the act, but uh, a few words you leave out here and there, a few words you add in, and. But uh, laughter is universal. You can make anyone laugh. Right. You had mentioned. Is that ready yet? Sure, well, right some Jeez, of the stuff is. Some of the, look, Jeez. That, that's, that's okay. John just stepped on my foot. Don't worry, John. Oh, God yeah. gave me a second one. It's I'm only teasing you. <laughs> These poor people are going to think I'm serious. It's a joke. Yeah, but you make fun about your weight, don't you? I kid. I, you know, my, my philosophy is I ain't heavy, I'm your brother. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I poke fun, and, and it's actually, I more talk about it. You know, no, you just talk about being big. You talk about diets. You talk about buffets. And uh, I was thrown out of a Chinese one here. Uh, here, in, here at the Sands? Oh, yeah. The owner was not happy. He'd come out every hour. So, someone, someone said that they saw John go in with McDonald's. They stayed outside to watch the numbers change. Ah! That's a Joan joke. That's a Joan joke, right? Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk? <laughs> yeah, you do impressions too, don't you? I do a couple. Do a couple. Uh, do the chipmunks. Alvin, Simon, Theodore. And? And of Al Pacino. Al Pacino from Scarface. Yeah. And let's, let's be specific about that. Al Pac I do actually Al Pacino as Scarface uh, facing the munchkins. All right, can we, can we have a little bit? Okay, this is Al Pacino. What I thought was, as I like the Wizard of Oz, but the Munchkins were afraid of the Wicked Witch. So what if Al Pacino stuck up for the Munchkins against the Wicked Witch of the West? And I will replace a certain word. So I replace that word with thank you, okay? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Shadow Wicked Witch, thank you. Look at you. You're green. Thanks. 
to come here, to got a broom. What you gonna do, sweep me to death? You got monkeys? One of them thanks on me, I'm gonna kill you all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, look, the food's here. Let's let me do my lollipop face. Oh, yeah. Well, this is wonderful. Here, let me do the dance. We represent the lollipop king, the lollipop king, the lollipop king, and in the name of the lollipop king, we wish to welcome you to Munchkin Land. So thanks. As, now, speaking of munching, the food is here. I think well, this is my diet. You know this is my diet. So, before you have a hot dog like this, yeah. you got to have a corn dog. It's kind of like an appetizer thing. You're gonna wait. You're gonna, you're gonna have a corn dog before you have a hot dog. I have two shows tonight, my friend, and I am a growing boy. <laughs> you know, the cholesterol is great. I talked to the doctor, 171. He said, "Have a hot dog." Now, is, that, is that for real? Oh, you have a cholesterol of 171. 171. Now, and we had dinner the other night. You I'm had a healthy nut, health nut. You had black bean soup with this huge dollop of cream of, of sour cream. Then you had huge. Wait, wait, it was it was yeah, a ladle full. A, a ladle full of sour cream. It's a the, relative term. Then you had for an appetizer a petit filet mignon, butterfly stuffed with cheese, fried in butter. Right? Is that word petit? Petit, yeah. Small. It, small. But then you had. And it was a dollop of sour. Cream. You had a side of beef that they call prime rib. But I didn't like it that much. Oh, okay. So that's why you had the fettuccine and the potato afterward. It's, it's again, you caught me at a hungry moment. <laughs> Otherwise, I just pick. <laughs> it's all an act. That's all it is. It's an act. So in other words, this is a fat suit. You're really 180 pounds. I'm an illusion. Yes. You're an illusion. Kind of. Have, have you thought about it? Listen, if you lost weight, if you went on a big diet and lost weight, yes. would you lose a lot of your act? No, I wouldn't. Because I talk about losing the weight, you know? I mean, I was, in a, I was at the Pritikin Center for two weeks this year. And what happened? I had a hell of a time getting a Domino's pizza guy up the fire escape. <laughs> Come on, it's all right. No, I'm not coming up there. I'll give you a 20 spot. All right, I'm climbing. <laughs> you um, are known to a lot of people now for your appearances on Fox television. Yep. I understand that, that you were just offered a script for the Fatty Arbuckle story, is that? Yeah, they just actually sent me the script for the Fatty story, so actually kind of bulking up, I guess you could say. you gotta, you got to gain some weight for the park. Exactly. I never thought that had happened. Right, for those who don't remember or aren't aware of what Fatty Arbuckle, who Fatty Arbuckle was, try it. Well, Fatty Arbuckle in 1918 was um, the, the comic of his, of his day. He was a superstar. I, in fact, I think in 1918 he had a million dollar contract with Paramount. And he was involved in this scandal where uh, he was accused of uh, raping a girl and killing her. And uh, it, it's, it's believed that he was set up. And it's, it's a, just a story about that and, and his downfall after that scandal. So uh, it's, it's a brilliant story. It's called My Clown Cried. We'll see what happens. Is it a TV movie or a full-length feature? We don't know yet. We're just, we're just throwing it around right now. But, uh, and I'll do the series before I do that. So. All right. You want, you want to grab something to eat? It's getting cold here, people. It's getting cold. Let's, let, let's, let's munch a little bit. All right. I'm, I'm going to have, I'm gonna have uh, diet Pepsi. a Diet it Pepsi kills here. A diet Pepsi here. Now, why? why? I mean, Diet Pepsi trying to watch my, my boyish figure. Oh, you look fine, I'm telling you. It's because I'm standing next to you. That's true. <laughs> I don't we know why to, I don't do more commercials. This guy's standing here behind us waiting to be paid. Oh, but that's okay. Wait. But we have we to, we have to pay him. right to the room. You can do that? Yeah. Well, they don't pay me. But they don't pay you, but they, yeah. but they let you have let room, room, room food. Whatever you want. <laughs> we don't pay you, though. You want to charge it to your room? Yeah, we should do that. You're going to yeah. charge it to your room, right? Yeah. And no, actually, I'll pay for it. Pay I'll for pay it? for it. Big money here. Anyone else want a hot dog? Um, <laughs> Would you like something? This, the cameraman always has to watch us and everything. Would you like something? Just shake your head. <laughs> yeah? You're all set? He wants lobster, though. We can get that. The gourmet doesn't open till 6. That's why we're here at 5. <laughs> here you go, sir. How did you and Howie Mandel hook up, John? After this, I have salad. It really is all a joke. You and Howie on tour together. But you had to leave the bus, though. You left the tour bus. I, what happened? Howie doesn't like to stop. He doesn't like to stop. He likes to stop at truck stops and have tuna sandwiches. Me, I have to stop. I have to, you know, I Hilton for a steak, maybe a buffet. He don't eat. He never eats. He's cheap, though, isn't he? And how he cheats me. 
he's, he's not the most generous in the world. I had chicken salad four nights in a row, and I got cranky. I came at him with a knife. I need a vegetable. <laughs> he's a little, he's frugal. Let's say he's frugal. Oh, frugal in a you know a pilgrim kind of way. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the man has your change here. Thank you now, so much, what, sir. What? How much food could you buy with two dollars and three cents? Sure. Now, when I was a kid... Well, he wasn't talking about here. We were talking about, like, somewhere else. To get, when you were a kid... Go ahead. When I was a kid, you could buy 87 hot dogs for $2. And it's just... The prices, it's, it's outrageous. Could you, could you eat 87 hot dogs? I couldn't... Uh, yeah, probably. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I, I was never, like... I was always a marathon. I could always pick a little bit for a long time, but never once at once, you know. When, when Who you, needs spilkus? <laughs> you know? Spilk, oh, I, I, you don't look it. You don't look Jewish. <laughs> I'm Jewish by Delhi. <laughs> yeah. when, when you were enough latkes, eventually they let you right in. You don't even need a bar mitzvah. Is there any food that you don't eat? I don't like seafood. For real? You don't like yeah, seafood? I, I don't like it at all. And Why? I'm from Boston. That doesn't make any sense at all. It, it really doesn't. And, and every, everybody always tells me, you're from Boston, you don't like seafood? No. So you've been eating meat for all these years, and your cholesterol I, is still 171. I only ate that prime rib that night. I had not had a prime rib in a year, and I really didn't like... I'm usually a pasta guy. With some meat thrown in the pasta. What, a side of beef? Veal, you know, cat. No, <laughs> I don't eat veal. You don't eat veal? Well, you don't like the way they raise them and slaughter them? Yeah, it's bad. I have visions of the mother cow coming up to me. Have you seen Jimmy? <laughs> eat, baby, eat. I sure will. I sure will. Corn dog first. Corn, must have a corn dog. Absolutely. Oh, wait. So this really? is an order. Wait, is this an autograph or are you signing a food voucher? No, no. Wait. it's well. He's, he's already got. Wait, the... this is a reorder slip. Watch oh, out, John. Yeah. All right. What's your name? Leo. To Leo. See you at the buffet. Love, John. Connect. <laughs> ah, can we talk? <laughs> Absolutely. What's your name? This is this is a lot of fun. Um, watching John uh, order food, sign autographs. Uh, the cheese fries here have killed um, more people than the hydrogen bomb. Let's see, look at this. Look, we've got. Oh, oh my God. My pleasure. This thing could clog an artery just by looking at it. Cholesterol is 171. Blood pressure is? 120 over... 70? Oh, it's over 70, yes. I hate you, John Pinette. Uh, but I, I, I like the fact that you did this with this. But there's a lot of me to love, Dave. There certainly is. There really is. Thanks, John. Let's go eat. Let's go eat. I'll take my drink. What, what do we have here? We have uh, chocolate chip muffins. I love Cinnamon corn. chip corn muffins. Corn muffins are great. Legit. No butter, though. I'm watching myself. <laughs> what are you watching yourself do? Butter goes right to your hips. No, I stay away. You caught me with one dollop of sour cream, and you think that, you, you, you know, uh, I'm abusive to food, and it's not right. Now, this, my, I love these. What's that? Oh, that's fruit salad. All right. Oh, yeah. I mean, I still gonna have a hot dog, but you're going to have this, too. Well, was this an appetizer or it's dessert or what? It's a lot of balancing. So how many meals a day do you eat? These... I eat three, you know. <laughs> and your snack? And there's, there's the, you know, there's the mid-meal snacks. There's a snack between the meal and this. Between the mid-meal snack. Snack during the meal. So you don't eat just eat. And see the the bad joke. <laughs> you have a snack during the meal. Yeah. The bad joke is that you have just one meal a day, one continuous. Not really, not really. It's I'll tell you, it's just when I'm on the road, because I, I don't walk downstairs in my condo and find this. You know, and I walk, you know, I can only walk by and go, hot dog on a stick. <laughs> That's one of, one of John's vices is hot dogs on a stick, right? Oh. You discovered them where, in San Diego? I would crawl a mile in the snow for a hot dog on a stick. They don't have this in L.A. They're all health nuts. But what, what is it you like about the hot dog on a stick, the hot dog or the stick? I think it's the stick. It's the whole, you know, I got a stick of meat here. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to our prime allergic. Damn it, I'm happy. And it goes back to our primal urges and when we were yes, to cavemen. Walk with a stick. It's like when I had the prime rib in my hand the other night. <laughs> you remember that? Yes. <laughs> How he wanted me to use it during the act. Right. We were having dinner. Uh, John and, and Howie Mandela and myself and a few other people were having dinner here at the Sands, and John ordered this humongous um, prime piece of prime rib. Yep. And then you were holding it and brandishing it like a weapon. Yes, like Henry VIII. <laughs> I 
Hillary days do hereby declare. But Hollywood thought it would be an interesting thing if I just held it there in my hand and did my act. Not just ignoring the prime rib, you know, just every once in a while. Well, you should try that. That would be funny. But, you, know, you know what I did the other night? Is I brought three chefs up on stage and I sang Wind Beneath My Wings to them. <laughs> did you you did do that, didn't you? I really did that. Was that during the employee show? Oh, yeah, it was great. It went over really well. And the chefs really got into it because they are my heroes and I'm their hero. Without me, there is no job. Okay. All right. I think we're just going to stick here to the food court. Yeah, that's fine. Ross is his idea about telling me. Asking me to sign a napkin. What better thing to sign? How about a cornflakes box? To so Kathleen. I'll take you home again, Kathleen. Have you ever heard that? John signing a. The only person. I, the only person I know who signs a marker in a food court. There you go. You can take that anywhere. They'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> Let's go down and look at the at the pizza. Boston pizza. I'm a Boston guy. That's right. You're a Boston kind of guy. Let's, Let's travel proof it. <laughs> Before you get to the pizza, you gotta go to the deli. Oh, excuse me. Oops. Uh, the pizza. Uh, you know, sometimes when you're looking for food, people get hurt. It's a shame, but there's nothing you can do about it. Who are you calling? Room service. Room service? <laughs> From here. But I thought we were gonna go down to Boston Pizza. I get that. All right. All right. Let's go down to Boston Pizza. <laughs> Stan's Grill. Let's go grill. Stan's Grill. Where's the pizza? How are you? How are you doing? We're giving the place a big build up. Either that or you're going to book find so This is seafood. Now, we don't, you don't like seafood, huh? More like a shake down. Yeah, this is seafood. You don't like seafood. No, I don't, but other people do. <laughs> you just yeah, but you'll, you'll scare them. Take a pan over there, see? All right, that's enough, because I hate seafood. <laughs> you know what it is? You know what it is about seafood? What's that? Is that I don't like anything they give you that's like has a carcass with it. You know, they, they can put, take it out of the shell, you know. No, they put the lobster down, the lobster's there, you know, looking up at you. Why? Why? And I, I, I can't do it. My heart breaks. No, oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, but what you about, know, like, when you eat a prime rib? I mean, it used to be a cow. Who cares? I can't see it. <laughs> it's not going moo. Let's see what they have here. What's this? Ooh. Now, do, you, do you eat pizza? Do you like pizza? I'm not a big pizza guy. No, not really. Dairy. It goes right to my hips. Yeah, right to your hips. Uh. Yeah. I don't even want to have that happen. I just have a dollop of dairy. A dollop of dairy. Every once in a while. <laughs> the dollop is as big as, as, as a steam shovel. Oh, it's a hell of a dollop. What is your favorite meal? What is my favorite meal? I would have to say probably any kind of pasta Italian. My stomach's Italian. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm ethnically a little bit French, a little bit Irish, but you know, when it comes to my stomach... Uh, when the moon hits your eye, that's a big pizza. Uh, I just, pasta, probably. Pasta. Yeah. And cream sauces. What about desserts? Oh. What about desserts? Oh. Oh, you mi oh, you missed a heck of a dessert the other night? No, Ooh. no, I didn't. I come back. <laughs> I no. did the show, but I came back. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm back. John, come on in. Well, that, wait, wait a minute. I had to sit there and watch Howie, who I've seen before, and you were having dessert? Yeah. I and, think, th and then you I went up... I was much more fun. They, they were all gathered were... around. <laughs> <laughs> and then you went up to the Plaza Club with us, and you ordered... Now that's a rumor. That was a, no, it wasn't a rumor because I, I was chicken, sitting there. I had chicken wings. It got me. It got I, me. But I'm telling you, this is on the road. You don't, you don't, you don't go home and you have. I mean, I have a food court, <laughs> and I'm kind of like the prince of the court. King. So think king. King, like Jackie Gleason. This is my food court, and I'm staying here. You know what you are? Nothing. Who are you, who are your comedy role models, John? Oh, my goodness. Probably Jonathan Winters, uh, Gleason, as, as far as acting goes. And, uh, you know, stand-up Carlin, George Carlin, Richard Pryor, Howie Mandel. <laughs> now you'll work another week with Howie. <laughs> I'm only doing this, Howie, because they're comping the room service. <laughs> no, really, I love him. Wow. 
Where would you like to He's be? too skinny, though, don't you think? Who, George or Howie? Howie. Howie's looking a little thin. Yeah, I, I've tried. I have tried over these past four weeks. It's not yeah, but AM, PMs really don't, you know, don't have anything There's for me. There's only so much you can bulk up at an AM, PM. Now, for, for the people in New Jersey who aren't familiar with what an AM, PM is, it's like a mini mart, right? Like a Wawa. Seven, Wawa, 7 Eleven. I know, well, I, every state, you know, I know the names. I got a book. Win Dixie. Yes. Win Dixie. I love Win Dixie. I like, you know, Piggly Wiggly. Piggly Wigglies are good. All right, John, um, this is the most critical time of the meal because uh, here we are at Mary Elizabeth, one of the most sinful places here in the food court. Sinful Look at this. Right. Coconut custard pie, strawberry cheesecake, black you know, forest cake. I look cake. at something like this and I say, America the beautiful. <laughs> I really do. Look at the Honestly, Napoleon. Napoleon. Hey, you're, you're a Have friend. one of those and you invade Russia in the dead of winter. <laughs> Chocolate cake. I asked you, you know Panette's cheese? French for little pine tree? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, if you look a certain way. Yeah, but what do you want? You want something from here? I mean, it's got to be something. Wow. How do you I make up your mind? Real, do you want to, oh, but what? That's what I want. Right over there. Where's he going? What? Go ahead. Do you think this might be rude? I mean, they won't mind. You don't know? Do you know them? No. Well, I'll give them tickets to the show. Let me see. What, the, what have they got there? Oh, it's wow. Like, oh, I, I gotta try it. Yeah, but John, you, wanna, I don't, I don't, you don't know these people. Uh, hey. Hey, trust me. It's all in the way you do it. Well, take Follow it, me. Take your best shot. And we'd like you to be in it. We really would. You could be, you know, tell all your friends. You know? Yeah, help yourself. You could say, geez, I'm on TV. And uh, be great, you know, the family be on TV. You want to go to a comedy show tonight? Um, you didn't want any more this, did you? Uh, no, go ahead. It's okay. This is bad for you. Yeah. I'm lactose intolerant anyways. You're lactose intolerant, whereas I love all people. <laughs> you know, at the Sands Hotel, having a great time with Howie Mandel. Newfound friends. What can I say? There's no business like show business like no business like no. We'll be back uh, <clears throat> right after this break. <laughs> Coming soon. I'll wait. 